YouTube, Aaron here, showing you how to install a virtual machine to your VMware ESXi server. First thing you want to do is log into the vSphere client. You're going to right click on the uh, server that you've added and select create a new virtual machine. Uh, I'm just going to go through the typical configuration here. So you go ahead and name whatever you want. I'm going with Fedora. Choose the destination data store. Choose the guest operating system. I'm going to use uh, Fedora, which is not listed here, so I'm just going to select other Linux. Hit next. You're going to you can select your uh, network connection options, how big your hard drive is going to be. I'm going to go ahead and up that to 20 gigs. Hit next again it'll tell you it's ready to complete. Down there in the uh, recent tasks it'll say that it's currently creating the virtual machine and there we go it's completed. But before that we do anything else we're going to want to install the operating system. So what we're going to do to do that is I've already uploaded an ISO of Fedora onto the data share and from that data share we will be able to mount that ISO as a virtual CD drive for our new virtual server. What we're going to do is go to our newly created server, go ahead and click on Edit Virtual Machine Settings, and I'm going to go ahead click on CD drive, a data store ISO file, browse into the data store that you have the ISO image saved in. I created a subfolder called ISO Images. It'll search the database. I only have one file in there at this time. Go ahead and click on it and hit OK. Be sure and check the uh, connected power on checkbox up at the top there so that it mounts the CD once it starts the server. You can change other options here if you decide to reconfigure the server, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and just leave it all the same here. Once again, it'll reconfigure down there in the recent tasks, and once it says it's completed, you're ready to start it up. You can start it by selecting the server and then just pressing that green go button, or play button. Now to actually view what's coming over the screen, you have to select either the console tab or click on the open console in a new window button there. And it'll show that show up like you're booting a new computer. And there you go. There's the Fedora boot screen. I'll spare you the uh, boredom of watching that install. Be sure and subscribe to my channel for more technology how-to videos. And uh, go ahead and like the video if you found it helpful.